magandang magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. I hope you've had your breakfast already. It's 11 in the morning. My name is Caster JT, also known as JT, and with me is the one and only Aki. Hello, good morning, guys. Good morning to you too, JT. So it's another day. Na full pack of 22 action dito sa National Grassroots Program. So before anything else, ayan, good morning sa inyong lahat. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Ayan, so make sure na i-share nyo din muna yung stream natin if you're supporting your friends or itong uh, tournament mismo. So before anything else, we just wanna share to you guys kung ano nga ba itong tournament na gaganapin natin today. Again, this is the NGP, the National Grassroots program na na-organized by PESO or the Philippine Esports Organization. So, ang main objective natin for this tournament is to become the gateway and aggregator for all esports grassroots related activities in the Philippines. So, we want to give, we want to be the first to give and open opportunities for every new and aspiring esports enthusiast. No, dito natin possible makita yung mga Um, players na baka mapapanood na natin in the future sa mga big tournaments like GPCs, TI, and stuff. So again, now this is uh, organized by Philippine Esports Organization. Ano nga ba, Kasi JT, ang uh, PESO, ang uh, PESO org, no? A, qu- a quick Uh, background lang for this organization, no? Sila ang, ano, sa mga hindi nakakaalam, sila ang National Sports Association para sa esports dito sa Pilipinas. Mm-hmm. Di ba, Mbongga? No, meron na tayong um, yeah. parang, um, non-government organization na nagsusupport talaga sa esports. Sana dito sa mm-hmm. Dota na ito yung uh, mapapanood natin na games for today. So, ang layunin ng peso ay palakihin at pasiklahin ng esports the industry dito sa ating bansa. Again, they are the, uh, a non-stop, non-profit organization at binubuo to ng mga esports industry big names. Katulad ng Tier 1, mm-hmm. Garayat Concepts, Mineski Global, TNC Brand Esports at maraming marami pang iba. So, I uh, no, I'm sure na narinig niyo na guys yung mga big names na ito na sikat talaga yan sa ano sa larangan ng Dora 2. So suportahan natin guys ang uh, peso sa kanilang mga adhikain at para sa kadagdagan information, maaari niyo bisitahin www.esports.com.ph or uh, visit yung kanilang Facebook page ng Philippine Esports Organization. Yes, exactly. Of course, of, we want to thank our sponsor, which is Smart. Experience the power of Smart 5G in over 4,900 sites nationwide. Switch now to experience the difference. Visit smart.com.ph slash MNP to learn more. And now, let us get the ball rolling. It is a Dota 2 event. And we all know that okay. Dota has always been within the hearts of the Filipinos ever since the beginning of esports. Mm-hmm. Mga computer shop natin dyan. Talagang, we are, how do I say this? So into Dota talaga, eh, no? And Mm-mm. following on the day, we're gonna have a... Lock luster event here with the semi-finals already starting up with 999 versus Storm Maker. And then following that is Horizon Gaming versus Burger Friends. Then going on towards the grand finals. And let's not forget, this is all best of three. So get ready, strap yourself in, get your water, get your popcorn. It's gonna be a long day, <laughs> but an exciting yeah. day. Mm-hmm. And uh, also, also JT, no, sa grand finals, it will be a best of three series na banggit mo nga. And the champion mm-hmm. of this tournament will receive 5,000 pesos. So, um, wala naman silang, uh, di naman to qualifiers or something like that. But this mm-hmm. is a, you know, this is their stepping stone towards the bigger. Exactly. Um, tournaments na pwede nilang masalihan. Malay natin, meron palang nanonood today ng mga managers ng uh, mga esports mm-hmm. team na naghahanap ng mga players. Diba? Dito nila pwedeng makita yung mga aspiring uh, Dota 2 mm-hmm. players. And again, no, wala tayong gaan ng background from these players but um, I think they will definitely show us what they got today for Dota 2. 
Yeah, I mean, of course, you know, if it's their dream, their aspiration to be a Dota 2 player, it is here. You'd like to do it to prove to everybody, sa mga no dito, we have what it takes to be part of the top tier players in Southeast Asia. This is where the dreams are made of. And, you know, there's not a lot of opportunities before, right? There are only computer shop tournaments where you don't really get to really know mga players talaga, you know? Hanggang dun ga lang. But now, Everyone can see your potential here, and that is the beauty of the NGP, where your talents can shine so bright. Na madi discover yeah. mga tao in the industry itself. Uh, siguro um hindi naman totally na hindi nilang klala yung isa't isa. And again, uh, this is a two-day tournament. So meron tayong kinanap uh, na games din yesterday. Lahat yun mga best mm -hmm. of one. And then, itong apat na team sa to, sila yung mga nakasurvive sa day one. So I believe mm -hmm. merong chance na mga nakalaban na din nila itong, uh, itong mga teams na to yesterday or um, before. So, tignan natin kung ano ang mangyayari for today. Um, do you have any expectations with what is going to happen for us today, Aki? May, are you thinking like, oh, it's going to be an intense match, close match, or, you know, like maybe some games would be one-sided? Um, some games, I, I believe. Kasi meron akong mga nakas before na yung mga ganito mm -hmm. na hindi sila solid teams, you know, na parang binuo mo lang sila for a tournament. And uh, we can witness some surprising uh, gameplays, no? So malaki yung chance na baka mabibilis lang yung games. Kasi, you know, hindi mo kalala yung kalaban mo eh. They, they, might, uh, they might have something up on their sleeves na baka meron silang mga secret or cheese pigs and stuff like that. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah, um, I would love to see like, you know, uh, a techies. Like, uh, people will like say like, techies, uh, <laughs> no, he looks like he got there. But you guys don't know, the magical damage of techies is just insane and through the roof. Although we've seen in the previous major, like the Keeper of the Light mid, you know, we've seen Boom Esports who love playing uh, their, um, I believe it's Japoy's uh, Snap Fire in mid, you know. There's so many ways that you can play Dota nowadays. And it just goes to show uh, you really have to show your strengths here how well you understand the game at the same time how well do you understand the hero and yet again Heroes. it's a team chemistry type of game it's, it's it's a team game here and that's what matters the most um showing that you have clear communication until the very end based on um what's happening before right in the previous major in the, the picks here is there any hero that you would like to see aki being picked by one of the players or one of the teams Ah, uh, hindi naman sobrang like ko, pero mm -hmm. sure ako na 100% meron dito ang gagamit ng mga famous uh, heroes na ginamit ng major, ng nakarang stock ko major, mga Spirit Brothers, Ember Spirit, Storm Spirit, kasi yan mm -hmm. yung ano eh, kumbaga if you're mid player, yun yung mga heroes na ano eh, na talagang kailangan mong mamaster. And I think, um, yun yung mga pwede nating makita ng heroes for today and I would like to add na not necessary itong mga teams na to na susun sila sa meta eh. Kumbaga, um, I believe na they will just uh, go for their comfort picks kung ano yung mga pamunin nilang heroes. So, yeah, tignan natin. Baka nga meron mag-pick ng techies kasi favorite niya mag-techies. So, we won't, we won't know. We will see. Mm -hmm. That's true. Uh, I do like the the spirit. Yes, exactly. The ember, the earth, you know, the storm spirit. We've seen a lot of like no talisman storm spirits, right? Until this very day, it still mm -hmm. hasn't gotten nerfed. I remember the EG. It, they were making it a meme with Abbott going storm again and again and again. But it, it just still goes to show na gano kalakas ang storm spirit uh, nowadays just because of that null talisman buff on the 20 minute mark you literally see four nulls on a storm spirit and it's just insane yun to lang watch yun, where he can just zip from nila. far away uh, uh, yeah exactly okay na okay like, na siya no. <laughs> ah but the null talisman is some boots at is some bkb and your storm spirit is good mm. to go so Ayan na nga. Tingnan natin. I think the game is about to start any minute. And again, mm -hmm. ang first team na maglalaban for the semis will be 9 and 9 versus Storm Maker. So medyo wala pa akong nakita. Guys, uh, share nyo na yung stream natin kung sinong supportahan nyo itong teams na maglalaro for the first round. Ayan. Go cheer them up. And Sherry will be one of the easiest things that you can do. 
Exactly. Uh, I want to see those uh, shares badge up and running in, in chat. You know, <laughs> show your support to to the players and to the team. And let us get in to the draft right now. Mukhang magsisimula na nga po tayo dito. Um, there you have it. Oh, Timbersaw being the first band. I guess, uh -oh. he, like, na, I guess, well, we've seen uh, ATF, um, Amar Dayaf, right? He's so good at the Timbersaw. And, it, and it's so hard to counter sometimes when you're a really good Timbersaw player. Um, well, how was your experience playing up against the Timbersaw, like, in your games as well? Sorry, sorry, what was it? Medyo... I mean, how, how was how was your games back. when you uh, play up against the Timbersaw? All my games, yeah. Medyo mahirap kalain itong si Timbersaw, lalo na kung melee hero. Kasi ako, personally, I mm. prefer playing uh, on the carry, carry role. So, isa si Timbersaw sa mga uh, offlane heroes na ayaw kong makatapat because of that. Um, yung reactive armor, napakakunat niya. And then, mm -hmm. he's just abs absorbing all that um, physical damages na you will give to him. And isa din sa mga ayaw ko si Ten Mars, no? Um, I believe na pwede rin silang mapick, pwede rin maban ang... Uh, Mars for this uh, game. Mm -hmm. But tingnan natin na CK is also banned. Beastmaster and Undying. I think mga personal oh. preference lang ito ng mga players. Uh, mga mm -hmm. personal siguro mga ito lang yung ayaw nilang. Kalain. Kasi again, mm -hmm. we're not really sure if kilala nila yung isa't isa. No? Um, pwede na lang siguro kung nag-research ito mga players natin against exactly. mga kalaban nila. Pero I believe mga personal Ten preference nila itong mga bans na to. Yeah, and I guess we're going to see a Keeper of the Light. I would actually call this a flex pick. A flex in the sense that it can either go support or towards the mid lane. And that's what I like about Dota. Yung mga heroes mo talaga, you're, you're not really sure kung saan sila pupunta eh, right? It, it, they can go mm -mm. any role. And that's the beauty of it. Now, in terms of drafting, this is when you can start putting mind games into the fray here. Um, are they going to be scared of the Keeper mid? Do we counter pick him? Do we overly pick? And... They go for the storm. Uh, someone who can jump towards the backline. We just talked about it. No to listen. Mm -hmm. Yes, ito kasi talaga yung mahirap siyang ano eh, mahirap siyang kontrahen. And if you have that uh, trust and confidence, dito sa gagamit ng hero na to, di ba? You won't be any problem. Like laning palang mm -hmm. malakas atong hero na to. And again, uh, keeper of the light, the light is still uh, versatile. Pwede pa itong maging uh, support. And uh, there you mm -hmm. go. Puck will be picked by Stormmaker. So, I believe this is a support keeper of the light. But mm -hmm. we won't know kasi hindi nga natin kilala itong mga players na to. Pwede pa sila yeah, ma-adjust. Exactly. No, maraming gumagamit. Mayroon mga gumagamit ngayon na support Puck, uh, mid, mid lane keeper of the light and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there there is so much into this. Um, I do like the pick here for triple nine when they get the Grimstroke. It just goes to show that you can use your inks well, or you know, and all all the good stuff here, right? Or coming alongside, it goes to show that this is gonna be like a bit of an aggressive fight early on the game here. Uh, you have your soul bind inks well and whatnot. Uh, may ka, and they also banned the anti mage, which is a hard counter up against the storm spirit. You know, plus the puck being picked for the coil. Which I believe they have changed the Aghanim Scepter of the Coil itself, uh, of the Puck, where they just did the Silence buff instead, where you get the pushback. So, it, we will have to see in how this one will go. Like you said, it's still a curveball here because we have seen support Puck, we have seen support Keeper. You know, there's so many um, questions right now on kung saan sila pupunta and the doom being bad meaning no perfect combination or no double dooms will be here in this game. Mm -hmm. And itong uh, anti-mage ban for Team Triple uh, Nine, hindi siya, hindi siya din para kay Storm Spirit alone. Eh. alone eh. um, mm -hmm. Siguro they are, pl they are planning na mag-pick din ng carry like Medusa no I believe pwede nila ipick mm -hmm. yan kung hindi mababa ng Stormmaker it's still mm -hmm. open eh mm -hmm. uh, for their fourth and last pick so since wala na din naman wala sila rin yung nagban ng Shaman na one of the counters din or pang hold mo din against the Medusa pero <laughs> kakasabi ko lang sila yung nagban ng Medusa <laughs> dito so actually mm -hmm. both teams can work with uh, Medusa pick dito sa game na to we will see um, right now, I feel like Stormmaker, yes, they have like an initiator in the hands of the Puck. 
but you don't really have someone to stand in front, right? And uh, the, I think that could be an issue. You, you talked about the Mars pick, which is a possibility here with how the bands are going because there is a bit of a limited or uh, shortage type of offlaners. Normally, you see the Brewmaster uh, uh, you know, with the crazy bandolings. Yeah. So the, the offlane is gonna get a bit tricky. And I believe maybe Tidehunter is okay and um, a Mars. Definitely, we'll probably see a Mars. Um, we've seen DK offlane as well, and it does work to a certain extent. Mm -mm. But uh, I'm seeing here na Stormmaker, parang puro offlane heroes yung binaban nila, no? Mm -hmm. Maybe they're just uh, setting up for their carry, uh, na hindi mahihirapan yung carry nila, or baka kilala nila yung offlaner ng Team Triple Nine dito. Mm -hmm. I'm quite interested kung sino ba yung offlaner ng Team Triple Nine kasi inuubusan nila ng hero dito eh. But <laughs> uh, again, eto, may open pa naman yung Mars. So Mars is a good pick for the boat teams dito. Lalo na sa Stormmaker, mm -hmm. siguro Mars can uh, go. Dahil uh, pwede yan mag-combo together team. with the, ano, eh, the Dream Coil. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Uh, a good combination here. More or less, we have yet to really see, you know, what is the composition right now. We do know that Grimstroke is fantastic in terms of playing position 5 or playing as a position 4, depending on where he lanes, right? Uh, normally, you want to lane him up with someone who can play aggressive or they can maximize the Ink Swell because Ink Swell gives you that plus movement speed as well as that stun, which works out in their favor. A juggernaut usually also is paired up with that, but decide to go for a position 5 pick for now, which I believe would be the next assassin four or five but definitely a support so that you know they're not gonna give their entire strategy away on what carry are you gonna be playing right now and in, in your in your um perspective here what do you think this triple nine need to stabilize their their roster of heroes here anong carry ba kailangan nila dito to maximize what they have Mm -hmm. I believe pala sila mag-pick ng simple carry like Phantom Assassin lang no. It works in the lane together with the Grim Stroke kasi yung Ink Swell nga no, pwede lang mag-blink si Phantom Assassin mm -hmm. and then the Ink Swell will just hit on your target mm -hmm. no. Something na pwedeng mag-blink and stuff no. But I I've seen a few teams na gumagamit ng Ricky Carry in the pro scene mm -hmm. and yun nga again yung blink ni Ricky it works well with the Ink Swell. So PA mm -hmm. is good para sa 999 meron pa sila dito ang um, next assassin no na pwede tong magbantay oh. sa sa jungle area nila and it can also inv uh, invade yung jungle area ng storm maker as well pero they would pick a nature's prophet here this might be their carry uh, I, I really do think it's a carry we've seen um, I, I believe in the major as well a lot of nature's carry being picked just because of the tree and I don't know if uh, everyone knows about this, the beauty of the uh, the, the nature's prophet is because of the treants. They have buffed it up Dial times to the damage when you get your talent trees. You also get to summon bigger, greater treants. It works in their favor. So if they're looking for a guy who can join the fights anytime or push during a team fight, nature's prophet is the best hero to use although laning wise medyo you know he's easily bursted down or damaged but going throughout the later parts of the game if you're able to create that space for NP he can even win you that game as Wind Ranger another combination that works with the Nature's Prophet dahil nga Sprout diba easy shackle and there you have it Aki the one you were talking about we do see the Mars being classic lang Yes. So PA mm -hmm. pwedeng pwedeng talaga natin siyang makita dito sa Team 999 kasi the goal is simple here for Team 999. If you're going to pick a PA, farm ka lang, no? These four heroes will make a space for you. Kayang-kaya nila yan. Actually kahit tatlo lang sila, Grimstroke, Next Assassin mm -hmm. and Mars. Sobrang lakas na tong trio na to, lalo na kung mm -hmm. sila ng pick-offs and hindi ganoon katagal yung cooldowns ng mga spells nila. But on the other side, um, Nature's Dying Prophet, no? Ito kasi yung hero na, ano eh, na, kumbaga, very, uh, nag-stay lang siya sa lane na, mm -hmm. na hero. Uh, isang lane, kailangan niya mapush yung tower 
before siya lumipat sa ibang lane. No? So, this will be a mm-hmm. good uh, pick for Storm Maker. Pero again, this Nature's Prophet, if they're going to pick this as their carry, no? parang taking time bump ka sa tong hero na to eh. Merong timing yan. So, if you're going to pick a Nature's Prophet, kailangan yung lumaban ng lumaban, papalitin yung mapa ng kalaban. Diba dyan kayo malakas eh, yung pushing capability nyo, mm-hmm. um, yung team fight anytime anywhere pero i think kapag lumampas tong game na to ng around 30 minutes and up medyo mahihirapan na sila kasi wala rin sila pang ganong ano eh kumbaga insurance mm-hmm. hero na pwede lang pagfarmen at paabutin ng late game mm-hmm. Five yeah, um, as you can see, the bands currently uh, triple nine or nine 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 deciding to go for the last pick carry, you know, curveball. Na hindi pa natin alam kung sino ba gusto nila pili and dito. Meanwhile, Storm Maker, it's it kind of makes sense now that I guess it's a keeper support, a mid pack, a nature's prophet carry, and a support wind ranger. What I feel like that they're missing is that someone who can stay in the front line, right? Well, sila masyadong tank or to uh, someone to initiate there in the front, and the bands are there, and there you have it. It's gonna go for the centaur. Um, judging on how things are going, yes, you have your tank and everything, but you really have to play. Well, in a sense, like you said, may timing dito ang Nature's Prophet, and they have to make it work. And an immediate monkey. counter for this centaur, which will be the Monkey King, works monkey well King. with the overall picks for Triple Nine. Um, yeah. Judging based on the picks right now, Aki, what do you think is, or whose draft is more favorable? I will go for 999 kasi itong Monkey King mm-hmm. hindi necessary na sama siya ng sa, na sumama agad sa team fight. Mm-hmm. Eh. Pwede mag farm build itong. Uh, Monkey King na to. Depend na lang din kung sa kung paano yung magiging lane niya against the Centaur. Kung Mm-mm. manalo siya uh, uh, against dito sa lane ng Centaur, di ba? Pwede siyang lumaban agad. Mag-Defusal Blade Mm-mm. build and uh, Silver Edge, something like that. Para talaga ma-counter niya itong sa Centaur. Pero if it's the other way, kung matalo siya, di ba? Kaya niya mag-farm lang muna eh. Kasi again, yung three heroes uh, or four, including including the Storm, kayang-kayang Mm-mm. mag-make space for that monkey. Yeah, exactly. So, um, judging on how things are going, I would also go with that, with the picks of Triple Nine. I do feel like Storm Maker, they are on a certain time slot here or time frame where they need to make sure na manalo sila ng lanes and don't get overtaken by the pure on aggression that is going to be coming from Triple Nine. Uh, judging on how things can go, you know, the laning phase is where it's at. If Monkey King gets a good lane. May hirap dito ang center, right? To get those items to tank up so that they can create space for the MP. And judging on how the picks are, the Storm Spirit will also be someone that you have to be very scared of. Kasi mabli siya tumalun sa back lines. And we talked about, you know, their lacking of, you know, someone to tank in the front. But how, how can the person tanking in front handle the fight when Storm is just there killing the people from behind? So, yan yung number one issue na nila that they have to solve. But as we are gonna get to the game, let's see on how will they tackle you know these issues or these concerns na pwede mangyari during the game. Yes, again, it still uh, uh, depends on the initi- uh, uh, initiation ng mga both teams and kung paano nila uh, gagamitin itong uh, heroes nila. Kasi pwede pa rin namang mabaligtad, no? The, the game can still mm-hmm. go for Storm Maker. Alo na kung sa laning phase pa lang, di ba, manalo sila. And again, mabilis mm-hmm. kasi yung timing ng, ano, ng Storm Maker dito. Lalo na meron silang Nature's Prophet, may Wind Danger dito na kapag nag-level 6, pwede lang silang mag-push lang din ng mag-push. Di ba? Pero mm-hmm. again, ang concern natin dito is puro squishy sila. And parang na-counter din talaga sila nung Monkey King. Uh, yung vision pa lang eh, na parang mm-hmm. um, nagka-counter sila sa isa't isa kasi nature's prophet, pwede niyang maputol yung mga puno kung nasaan man si Monkey King. And on the other yeah. side, Monkey King can just stay on the tree lines para magkaroon sila ng vision doon sa nature's prophet. So, mm-hmm. tignan na lang natin how the game goes. So, this is again a best of three series team triple nine versus storm maker. I think the game is about to start um, anytime yeah, soon. Yeah. Um... Mm-mm. There was a bit of a pause as I think there's mouse issues. But like he said, it does make a lot of sense here, right? Uh, as much as possible, Monkey King wants to stay in the trees. But 
if alam ng nature's prophet kung nasan siya, he can immediately destroy that within nature's cult. Tapos, it's a long stun, ha? Pag nahulog ka from that tree. Oh, as oh, oh, oh. we are finally gonna get into the game. Um, uh, uh, Looks like we're gonna see a lot of scouts here, right? From the tree end. That, normally, that's what you want to do, right? The moment you get into the game, you use your tree ends to scout, and then you can summon them again before the bounty rune comes up. Do you think they're gonna be a bit aggressive here to take the opposing yes, uh, team's think... bounty or...? Oh, team 999, they might be aiming for a first blood here dito sa top um, bounty rune. And also, JT, I would like to add, ito pang next assassin, eh. pwede tong maging problema ng Stormmaker once he hits uh, level 6 yung vendetta niya eh. Kasi si Nyx Assassin, pwede rin niyang i-target yung backlines. Dalawang, uh, dalawang squishy heroes yung pwede niyang ma-target dito. Pwede niyang ma-lockdown yung pack. Pwede niya ding um, kulihin lang yung Keeper of the Light. no So, instant uh, minus one agad to for Team Maker. Exactly. Uh, and not only that, you're gonna make your supports by those sentries, those vision, diba? And it is an expensive investment. Although, expensive. 50 gold na lang. Dati, dati kasi 100 plus yan. But now, the, we have put it down to make it much less punishing for supports to buy the sentry. But still, as supports though, you want to get as much items as you can get. Right, yung mga uh, mechanism or the arcane boost to eater lands, like uh, those type of things, especially the shard now, right? The shard is another game changer, <laughs> which is amazing for the Wind Ranger, yung Gale first nyan. It's so hard to play up yeah. against. And just because that there is the fear factor of the Nyx, they have to invest in a lot of detection. Yeah. At, uh, we will see. At the, uh, the game is here. So, Mars. Won't go doon sa may bounty rune dito sa may bottom lane. But uh, tingnan natin, no? oh, uh, my, co oh, co my concern here for triple nine is how are they going to defend their towers? Kasi if you're going up against a nature's prophet, yung two supports mo, kailangan um, they can push out creep waves nang hindi sila namamatay. No? Or kung meron silang skills na pang clear ng waves ng mabilisan and, and I'm seeing dito na si Grimstroke lang yung kayang gawin yun eh. diba? si Nyx Assassin ang i-expect mm -hmm. mo kasi gawin ng hero na to is to rotate, hindi siya yung dapat nagde-defend ng lane so I think that's the only thing na magiging problema dito ng triple nine, no? yung tower defense sila kasi nature's prophet and wind ranger to eh yeah exactly uh, mahihirapan dito talaga uh, ang mga supports. I think they're all more on hoping for, you know, the cores to make a play here, the offlane mm -hmm. Mars or the Monkey King. Like, those guys have what it takes to clear those lanes. Same with the Storm Spirit. But right now, you can see how aggressive they are in the laning phase. Now, they're not really focusing on much on the last hits, but pushing out the, the heroes uh -huh. here. As you can see, Wowie, nahihirapan na siya mag lane and he's almost <laughs> down. Ang baba na ng HP niya dito. Uh -uh. And also, yung last hits and uh, denies. So, so medyo na nauuna siya ng kotse. Oh. But you can see na Wait, lang, uh, uh, siya. But on the top lane. Top lane. Yeah, they're chasing on towards the... I believe the next assassin. Mamamatay siya dito. That's the problem here. When you're up against the centaur and the keeper of the light, that blast, pag nasa stock ng blast after one after another, that is 200 damage. If you can do that multiple times, mamamatay ka talaga dyan. Yes, your picks uh -oh. are working against the centaur, but the clear damage, the burst talaga ng Keeper of the Light, dun ka talaga may hihirapan. Uh, and I think you positioning the next assassin, he has to be very careful for this one kasi he can't keep, uh, he can't die many times dito sa lane na to. Kasi ang lakas ng combination nila eh. Meron silang double lockdown dito. You know, meron silang stun and then bound this strike. And pwedeng pwede kasi nilang patayin lang yung Keeper of the Light eh. Hindi nila pwedeng targetin yung Centaur because uh, it will take too much time. Medyo makunat yan, no? So, the easy mm -hmm. target, easiest target dito for Triple Nine will be the Keeper of the Light. So, next assassin, hindi pwedeng magtuloy-tuloy yung death niya doon sa top lane. But, bottom lane naman dito, it's the Mars and the Grim Stroke na they're quite harassed by the trains as well, no? Medyo magulo yung exactly. nagiging lane din nila dito. Oh! 
Yeah, they're just gonna continue harassing as much as they can. But I do love the way the Wind Ranger is playing this, right? Like you said, like mm -hmm. they're continually getting harassed just because of the Wind Ranger. The Wind Run, you know, saves you in terms of like the auto attacks plus the damage from Wind Rangers. 54 damage, so taking them quite a lot, making it a bit too hard to lane oh. towards them. Meanwhile, on the mid lane, mo ang bakbakan sa bakbakan oh, dito, but absolute oh, is gonna be okay. Munti ka na siya doon. But I, maybe he wanted to try and bait it out. Kasi may ano pa siya eh. May arcane, I believe. May or, skills you know, pa. Yeah. The bottle. Yes. Nandun pa yung mga hmm. bottle charges niya. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And uh, he's okay. gonna Mayroon be okay, but he has to be careful. Mm -mm. Uh, oh yeah, he has to be careful. Because if he gets a plus one C O A V D, they can definitely get that kill oh. onto the back. But the bottom lane, it's not really working well for Team, team Triple Nine. Uh, after the fact that they said that the beautiful combination nila, again, it's how mm. you use your um, draft, de ba? Kung laning phase palang na hihirap na sila. Eh, kailangan nila mag-invest ng uh, heroes dito. Kung ba, kung ba, kung baga mamimiss nila yung timing ng ano nila eh, ng draft nila dito eh. Kasi kapag ka maagang uh, nag-lead, nag-lead yung Stormmaker dito, wala silang gagawin, hindi sila makakuha ng pick-offs, kundi mag-defend lang na mag-defend ng towers, diba? Something like that. Pero top lane dito, exactly. they're saying fail onto the Keeper of the Light, pero walang bomb the strike na follow-up for this Monkey King. And yun yung sinasabi ko eh, diba? Meron silang pang chain lock doon sa Keeper of the Light, mm. but we haven't seen it until now. Yeah, they just really want to maximize kasi the Jingyu Masters and yet again the bottom lane. I think the way that they understand kung ano ba kailangan nila dito sa lane na to, yes, we can't play passive. We have to play aggressive. We have to do as much ship damage as we can. Push back the support. Make it a hard lane for the Mars. You know, with the constant annoyance coming from the Wind Ranger. Talaga siya lang yung tinatarget eh. Yung, yung Mars eh. Just getting as much ship damage as you can. But top lane dito, stun and bomb the strike. Tinko Master will be activated. Pero, um, parang masaya pa yung buhay ng center dun sa top lane. Eh. Hindi siya nahihirapan. So, the timing can be fast here for Team Stormmaker. But on the mid lane, JT, why? Yeah, he's low on health. Yeah, I think oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I did not see where the keeper of the line is. Bigla na lang tinamaan ng Illuminate. Na bigla na nga. Pero at the bottom lane, they're gonna continue to chase towards the Nature's Prophet. <laughs> Hindi nila matutuloy yun. With an excellent shackle coming from the Wind Ranger. And the damage has been done. Mukhang mapapatakbo dito ang ating Mars natin. While Rayway mm -hmm. still playing aggressive. Smells blood under the water. No, the stroke of it. A couple more seconds remaining. But it looks like makakatakas dito ang Wind Magic Ranger natin. One. Yeah, hindi mm. nila makukuha yung kill. But, uh, medyo kailangan mag-invest ng Team Triple Nine dito in terms of vision, ha? Kasi yung kanina, sobrang lucky kill nun para sa ano, eh, free kill oh siya kung mag-offer from Maker. Pero, this is the first kill that we go on the way on Triple Nine. We'll take down that Wind Ranger. Pero wala nang mana dito si Weiwei. He keeps on running, pero yung mga Train Protector is chasing him down. Will he live? Are you gonna live? Ay, oh. ay, ay! Oh, but <laughs> 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 on the top lane, Monkey King. Oh my gosh, I think this is with the rotation of the pack natin. Sabi ni Absolute dito, okay, I'll give the lane muna sa aking keeper. Iikot muna ako to get that secure kill. And you can tell by the last hit chart, nahihirapan dito ang Monkey King natin mag-farm. Constant nice. annoyance coming from Storm Maker, creating that space that they need to make it work. And also, yeah, the bottom lane, constant annoyance lang talaga dito. Uh, uh, uh. And, medyo surprised ako na ganito yung um, nangyayari sa Monkey King. Kasi, may, ano din siya, mid-range hero. So, definitely, makakalasik siya eh. Pero, tignan natin, Stampede will be here. Stun onto the Monkey King. Pero, dito naman yung next assassin dito to save him out. Jinko Master will be there. Pero, siya mga uh -oh. lives yun na pwede makuha rito. Kaso nga lang, that was not calculated from that Monkey King. And Storm Spirit, dito naman din siya to have the top lane. Secret is still alive. But, one more right click makes assassin getting that kill. Pero, kita mo naman yung nangyayari dito for Team Triple Nine. Kailangan pong mag-rotate ng Storm Spirit sa taas para lang mapatay nila yung uh, Centaur. 
But on the other mm. side, they yeah. still got that kill from the Monkey King. Yun yung maganda dito for Storm Maker. Yeah, that, that is an important part. We talked about the impact of the Monkey King and how well he is up against the Centaur. Maybe he miscalculated too much kasi akala niya sobrang lakas yan eh no? with the Jingo Mastery mm -hmm. mapapatay niya na dito yung Centaur mabubuhay siya pero that uh, double edge ay naka Vanguard na rin ang ating ano ha ang Centaur ano, diba? meron din siyang yung what do you call this yung passive ni Centaur I forgot uh, Retaliate yung yeah, Retaliate niya din eh oo oh, oh. damage so, return no? damage so, yeah. exactly like, may hirap mga talaga to, to play up against when they are ahead. And in terms of last hit, you can really tell that the Monkey King is currently struggling in the lane. Mm -mm. mahirap for Team 999. Ah? Kasi, uh, the Six Assassins keep on rewarding. And ang, uh, I think ang pinakailangan dito is a Blink Tagger. Kasi siya lang yung only hero na pwedeng makahuli kay Pac. Diba? Yung... Uh, mm -mm. Biglaan mo, yung biglaan blink and then impale. That's the only thing na pwede lang mahuli yung pocket. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Um, Honestly speaking, I don't really think they can kill the centaur right now. They, they, they need backup if they want to make, you know, an attempt here. Pero worth it ba? You use all your heroes to come and gank the offlaner. Nah. Go, that's a lot of space no, no. can be given para sa Nietzsche's Prophet. And like we talked about, they're currently in they have a time frame here that they need to make this uh, this you know strategy work. And so far, it is working. It is working indeed. Para sa Storm Maker. Dito. Parang yung Nature's Prophet. Hindi siya na pe pressure mag push out ng mga lanes. Eh, kasi alam niya na. Uh, we still got this game. Um, if mag uh, farm muna ko and kuha ng mga items, we can do the objectives after on. Pero tingnan natin, Team 999, mukhang gagawa sila ng play dito. But there's a dream call coming in from that buff. Kaso nga lang may ari ng blood, hindi rin tumama yung Spear of Mars dito. But they will still get that kill also the buff. And the hype rin naman yung Storm Spirit dito. So, good pickup for mm. Team 999. But at what cost? Nakakapag-farm yung Nature's Prophet. Nakakapag-farm yung Centaur War Runner. So, I still don't know if yeah. it's a good kill para sa 999. But there you go. Um, looks... Mm, yeah, I think they finally realized what they needed to do here. Like, if they continue playing as passive as much as they are right now, nothing is gonna go under their way. They are strong. Like, we talked about in the draft, they're strong as a unit, as a group. Let your Monkey King continue that farm, continue him getting back, and then play around with your heroes. And that is what they're doing. Nakakahanap sila namang heals dito, back and forth. It looks like Secret will also be found. The Secret is Whoa. out, but will he survive? He's, th he's still okay. Thanks yes. to the Vanguard. And now, wow, he, he needs to run away. He's gonna go for the DP here. Will it be enough? No, that's the question. The power shot from downtown. <laughs> Able to find that one. It's Nick and that's it. What? Did he go into? Kala niya, it's gonna be a simple kill. It is not. Kasi the rest back is there. Nandito ang Storm Maker to help one another. Uh, Major greedy move from that Storm Maker. Pero I, I do understand what he did there. Kasi wala na siyang choice pa to TP out. No, hindi lang siguro niya na-anticipate na merong, meron pang Keeper of the Light, meron pang Wind Ranger, na may power shot, meron pang Illuminate. No? So, uh, calculated damage from Team Storm Maker. And kumbaga, na even out nila eh. Uh, Team 999, they're doing their best para makapag-push ng lanes, iba, makuha ng kills, hindi nila mamiss yung timing nila. But on the other side, nakakakuha pa rin ng return kills yung Storm Maker eh. Plus, hindi pa nila napatay yung Stern Tor War Runner kanina. Yeah, um, that, that wasn't worth it. They, they, they were so close, pero... Like we said, like the centaur is their tank with that vanguard. Di mo lang basta basta mapapatay itong centaur na to eh. Uh, matigas tigas yan. Kaya nahihirapan siya, you know, to to burst him down. Meanwhile, parang they're, they're looking for a play here sa, sa bottom lane. But yes, like you said, may sentry. Pero makikita ba nila yung Nyx assassin na nagtatago sa gilid-gilid? Mukhang uh, hindi ata, but Pac playing very careful here. Yeah. 
And they're aiming for the bottom lane here. Tignan natin. Oh. Uh oh Kingship. Yeah, Pak is gonna go in. He's gonna go for the damage. Pero will it be enough? He's gonna go for the arena of blood. But not enough for him to save me here. Naputol pa nga. Meaning, na-stun ang aking monkey king. He is gonna try and run away. At the same time, Nyx Assassin dying. He is gonna go for the jump. The storm sprint is wrecking havoc as much as he can. Getting that kill towards the Keeper of Light. But that is just a support dying. Meanwhile, three are dead on the side of Triple Nine. It's time to get away from this team fight. That is a disaster on their end. I just want to say hi to Mommy Helenita. Oh, he, uh, she, he, she's the mother of Scam. She is watching the stream right now. But then going back to the game, the Mars, and he will instantly die on the hands of these four heroes, the Storm. Maker, oh no, medyo nagka-crumble apart na dito yung triple nine kasi hindi sila makakuha ng, ano eh, ng kills dun dito sa mga oh. balak nila eh. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's the pressure I guess, they're, they're getting pressured. This is what the you know, Storm Maker's oh no, win condition is. Continue showing them that we can take the fights, we need to find those fights, get those pick-offs, get those kills, and then just let Nature's Prophet do his thing. Pag ready na lumaban, titipiin na lang siya. Like, it's a global teleportation. He doesn't have necessarily to be part of the smoke. Continue farming, continue applying the pressure that he needs the side lanes. Tapos, sali-sali ka lang sa teamfight pag kailangan ka na. And the Storm Spirit, uh-oh. Might be the target uh -oh. here. Oh, ay ay ay. Oh. Team nine nine nine. What can they do for now? And party dana nito, JT. Hindi pa gaano nagpapalamdam yung nature's prophet. Mm -mm. And so, yeah, so, and he finally joins the fight. Sabi mo nga, hindi siya nagpapagaramdam. And now, he is there. And they're also gonna find the Monkey King one after another. They're crumbling to the presence of Storm Maker. As makakahanap pa rin sila dito. Yung Mars natin. Mare, tumakbo ka na habang may bukas pa. But the three is the blocks. Oh my gosh. The period making it really work out in his favor. Grabe. Uh -huh. 8k gold lead for 14 minutes. Uh, Mark, this is huge for Storm Maker. Again, it's how Daya's are you going to? It's how you use your draft, no? Kuma pa, kuma mo ba siya ng maganda? Pero on the mid lane, Storm Spirit is diving in the middle of the fight. Kaso kalang medyo na slow down din siya dito. They will kill the Nature's Prophet, and oh wow, will be the trade off of that one. But think that in center war runner, mapapatay din naman. Pero Puck is still alive, and Mars is here. I think are they going to still initiate the fight, Puck? Yeah, uh, Puck is playing super aggressive. Gotta get Phantoms embraced and speared off. Maybe a bit more than you can chew. Uh, the Shackles are trying to save the Puck around. He's so mobile here yeah. as they're continuing to wreck Havo. Triple kill na. They absolute not dead. And now, Monkey King is trying to run away from the coil. Will be there an ultra kill for absolute. A Star Spirit is coming back to life. He's gonna try at least get bits and pieces as much as he can. Kung may mahanap pa siya dito, and it looks like no, they don't have he shot, will I find think. one. Okay. <laughs> Meron para sila don, so uh, he clearly saw kung nasaan yung uh, Wind Ranger dito. Pero instant diff for this pack. And overall, it's going well para sa Storm Maker, no? Uh, early team wipe, di ba? Uh, you can know na, ne? Mataas na yung lead nila for this game, eh. Mm -mm. Yeah, um, this was a team fight I'm that so Triple Nine sure. needed to work out, right? You get the Nature's Profit kill, good. But I think it took too long trying to kill that Centaur na nagkaroon ng space for the Pock. Just keep doing what he's doing, right? The the burst damage, the silence, the yeah, and then Keeper of the Light just in the back end using the Illuminate. Natagalan sila pati yung Centaur. They focus too much on the Centaur, which in the end of the day, nahirapan sila as Nature's Prophet tried to get the kill towards the next assassin. But the smart play to do, you know, tamang TP TP out pag may time. Yeah, smart play brought to you by Smart 5G. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
29 is the scoreline. 9k gold in for Stormmaker, and they're looking for this top lane tier 2 tower. And let's see, no, pwede pa rin namang i-defend ng team triple knight. Meron sila mga ulties available. Uh, oh. Meron Wukong's command, merong arena of blood. But let's see, they will catch it on Grimstroke. Ay, nako. Yeah, Ang bilis um, lang. he had to really give the vision, no? Yun talaga eh. Buhay support, getting the vision. Parang bliss ang play nila. They're gonna jump towards, I believe, the mid lane towards the Storm Spirit. As the Storm will fall down. Oh? Talagang respo sila That's agad, no? After like pushing kill. up. Oo, oh, oh. oh, oh. after pushing up, heal sila agad. But they're finally jumping na. Realize nila, wala dito ang mga res back ng Storm Maker. But will it be enough? Pwede so, nila mapatay ang mga heroes at sila ang mahuhulog at the end of the day. Nako. Uh, they might go, they might go up dito sa high ground towers ng Team Triple Nine. And ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, JT, no? They need yung mga support na hindi mamamatay habang nagde-defend. Pero this is a grim stroke. Pwedeng-pwede siyang i-dive in dito ng mga heroes ng Storm Maker. The least thing that he can do is to throw out that stroke of faith. Pero kailangan ni defend ng Team Triple Nine, ha? Mukhang mababasa again. They will indeed get a Tier 3 tower into the top lane slowly but surely and storm maker medyo malinis yung uh, place na ginagawa nila for this one yeah i feel like uh triple nine nararamdaman nila yung pressure right coming from storm maker they realize okay kulang cool sila let's make a play let's get a kill as fast as we can but just because in terms of the net worth lamang na lamang na dito ang storm maker 14k net worth and when you're in this situation aki what do you think is the best plan to do for Triple Nine to come back? Uh, I think they need to let uh, Monkey King farm muna. Baka we have this term na tiis po gi eh. Kailangan niya mag tiis, hindi muna siya pwedeng sumama sa mga team fight. Hayaan niya mamatay yung mga uh, kakampi niya dito as long as nakukuha niya yung items niya. Pero uh, parang double edged sword din kasi yun eh. Uh, na magpa-farm yung Monkey King kasi mapupwersa yung Storm Spirit na lumaban din eh. And again, this hero is also farming mid lane. And as of now, mm. hindi rin ganun naging maganda yung uh, laro ng Storm Spirit. So, ang dami niya pang catching up na kailangan gawin dito sa game na to bago siya fully makasama and maramdaman yung presence ng isang Storm Spirit. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, Dalawa yung exactly. kailangan pa mag-farm eh, sa Team Triple Nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you said, the, the storm needs more items before talagang mapakita niya yung pressure. Uh, the, the reason why he's so afraid on jumping towards the... Oh, actually, one second here. It looks like they're gonna find the Nature's Prophet. This is what he actually needed to do, no? Makahanap sila ng mga pickups ng ganito, which will, in return, like you said, help the Monkey King get that farm that he needs. And dami niyang nakuhang gold in terms of finding that kill sa Nature's Prophet. That was a good pick off coming from the Nyx Assassin with the help of the Monkey King. Okay, pero tignan natin na, this might be the first objective na pwedeng makuha ng triple nine kasi it's already 20 minutes into the game, wala pa silang napupush ng mga towers and uh, almost full health pa itong tier 1 tower sa bottom lane so pwedeng i-def pa to ng storm maker kung aabot pa sila, pwede rin ibigay na lang nila but it's 5 man commitment from T from 999, oh. ito na nga, tinapend na nila yung bottom lane pero BKB was forced uh -oh. para dito sa storm uh -oh. Yeah, Puck is in trouble here. He tried to go for a cheeky play, but he BKB na si Storm, and he did not know what is happening, but the damage is still there. Coming from the Nature's Prophet in the center, I tried to tank it all off, but they're all grouped together. This is what the Monkey King wants. This is what he needs to create that space to get as much damage as he can, but Ultra Kill is the lowest. Coming from the Nature's Prophet, they're the Monkey King. We're going to have a good time. The first ever Rampage in this tournament. Coming at the hands of Storm Maker. First game and already a rampage and wala talaga silang tower na gustong ibigay sa team 999. The the job for uh, Nature's Prophet is very simple, no? Ang laki na lang tinulong sa kanitong Orchid Malev kasi walang nagawa sa gilid yung Storm Spirit eh. I was looking the whole clash dito sa Nature's Prophet and the only thing that he's doing is just giving out the right clicks. Wala siyang ibang ginagawa. Free hit lang siya doon sa gilid. So, sobrang... 
easy life lang ng nature's prophet to on sa and yeah we saw it was a rampage for him yeah, I think Dyer's na tunnel vision na dito ang triple nine. No, uh, Kasi they're looking at the heroes na, uy, yung center, medyo mababa na yung HP, focus natin siya. Pero at the meantime, you know, like you said, Nature's Prophet just TP's in. Tamang right click, right click pag may time. Walang, walang pumapansin sa kanya. Tapos bigla mm -hmm. nalang magagulat ka nalang na may ultra kill na ang Nature's Prophet. Uh, uh, and that's the issue here, right? Dyer's ang galing okay. mamigay ng space na itong center to make him the bait. To go on for the fight, oh. but they can go blink and looks like a coil. It will hit. They have the BKBs up and running. Center yet again. Stock with their soulmate. This is the soul fight. Nga siya dito. Center no, War Runner gonna go for the stampede. Meanwhile, ang fury natin, ang nature's prophet. The damage that he's doing is just insane. It's too much for them to withstand. And it's gonna be a four man wipe. Star Spirit could not do anything but watch his team die. Yeah, grabe ang ganda ng pasok nila. Do they have vision there? Kasi nag-smoke yeah, sila sa banda na yon. And then alam ng Storm Maker kung kailan at saan magi-initiate yun sa fight na yon eh. So grabe. Na caught off guard sila basically, 'di ba? Hindi sila nakapag-react doon sa initiation ng Storm Maker. Walang nagamit na BKBs, walang ultimates na nagamit, and they are now going straight straight up to the tier 3 tower dito sa mid lane. Ang bilis nilang mabuhay eh, no? Kasi ang bababa pa rin kasi ng mga levels ng heroes nila eh. Yeah, um, there was a war there nga kanina. Uh, no? Kaya nakita nila yung smoke. Yung kusang tumalun lang agad yung pack. Like, okay guys, we yung know they're there. Yan. Let's just jump and see. Uh -oh. And a fantastic coil coming from the pack player uh, himself. Meanwhile, Roshan is under siege. Will they go for a player, Aki? I think they have to force it. Wala na sila magagawa. And Roshan dito, na yeah, they are gonna jump in towards this. They're gonna use the soul bite on the team. They're gonna trap them as much as possible. The damage is there coming from the storm spire. Where is the nature's prophet? No, 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 a gilet aiming for the Mars. Meanwhile, we do have the puck going for the 12. The center gonna jump in towards the side, getting the kill towards the grim stroke. At nasak dito ang ating monkey king. He's trying to run away. Mano to mano on the other side is the nature's prophet. Monkey king though getting kited around. This might be it. It is looking horrible from the side of Trip. Triple nine as they're finding kills after kills. Ang Nix assassin niya natin. Masa stock siya sa side of the enemy team. Wala eh. I, I, I think that's not a good call for team 99. Na lumaban pa rin kahit alam nilang nakuha na yung ages eh. Hindi yun yung um, best place na lumaban itong uh, dire team. Kasi the least thing that they can do is to defend their high ground. They should have waited dito sa high ground na mag push. Ang pangit na initiation nila na pinilit pa nilang lumaban doon eh. Mm -mm. And may vision yeah. doon yung uh, Storm Maker mm -mm. and stuff. Kumbaga parang naging desperate na lang yung Team 999 to get something. Pero ito nga, ako po, na spear papuntang well itong si Centaur War Runner. But they will still try their best. Nature's Prophet mukhang tatapusin na na yung game. But may BKB available for Huawei dito eh. May Soul Fight naman may Kokomate pero they will get the kill. Para dito sa Keeper of the Light, but the buck is here. Eto na ang final boss, mga kaibigan. Stormfield will definitely fall down. Does it have buyback available? And Nature's Promise still fighting man to man. Dito sa isang Monkey King, but what can they do now? They only have one tower left, and their ancient and their base will be exposed. And there you have it. Exposed na yung kanilang ancient dito. So, medyo matinditinding death. Ang gagawin ng Triple Nine. Happy death, kumbaga. Mm -mm. Um, grabe yung center doon. Like, he was so confident. Biglaan na lang siya na spear towards the fountain. Tamang ligo-ligo muna. At namatay siya doon. He does have a heart of Taras, though. So, imagine in the next team fight, it's gonna be do or die in the side of Triple Nine to try and defend their, their base here, their throne. Um, looking at it right now, Aki, it's. I think it's gonna be very difficult, especially when you're up against a team who has nineteen thousand gold net worth. Yeah. Uh, basically, etong game na to, I would say na 
They got outplayed by Stormmaker. Mm -hmm. But wait, lang ah. hold that thought, Bucky, that they will catch it. Those, those Mars. Okay. Well, oh, they're actually but already the for flood the time. He gave it in yeah, okay. they are jumping in towards the fight. I can't believe this. They're, they're wanting to go for the aggression. Alam nila, we should not stay in base. We should find those pickoffs. And yes, they do. Even if the Mars does die in the end. But Constellation uh -oh. Fries, it's a Pero ang, ang kailangan nila dito is matinding death talaga. Kasi yung nature's prowess, pwede lang siya, siya mag-grab eh. Oo. Uh Ayan -oh. na. na. Like you were talking about the nature's prophet, talagang... Teleport lang siya dito, hanap kill, goodbye, good night. Oh, balik na ulit sa base. Basically. Mm -hmm. Kasi pwede silang like, maisahan ng, ano, eh, ng nature's prophet dito. Mm -hmm. And I think the nature's prophet is just gonna look for the rat, just go for the throne and call it a day. While the other players, you know, they're <laughs> just making <laughs> their time. <laughs> Tamang high five daw muna, like I want to make friends. And that's what he wants to do, the, you know. Meanwhile, the Pock gonna get that wow. kill towards the Nyx Assassin and the Storm. He jumped in too deep. The burst damage is there. The Nature's Prophet, though, no, where is he? I think he's just farming the jungle while they're wrecking havoc in the base. Storm Maker, they're able to find where the Mars is. You might think you're tanky, but you're not tanky enough. And the GG will be there coming from the Nyx Assassin. Storm Maker making a statement in the same finals here in game number one by dominating triple nine in the entirety of the game yeah yeah we both agreed na mas maganda yung draft na uh team triple nine but again it's the execution of your draft so it works well eh. ang lakas talaga ng uh, draft ng triple nine Kumbaga, yung bottom lane nila, Grimstroke and Mars. Pareho silang merong combo. Dun sa top lane naman, Nyx and Monkey King. So, talagang outplayed lang yung nangyari dito sa game na to. And if you're going to compare these two teams, no, I would say na mas may team chemistry at uh, merong synergy itong Storm Maker Esports. Kasi, uh, I, I saw na they're an actual organization, no? Team talaga sila. So, Triple Nine, I'm not really sure if ganun din sila or if binuulang nila itong roster na to for this tournament alone. Pero again, kita natin yung uh, synchronization ng skills, ng, uh, yung communication kumbaga ng Storm Maker on how they executed their draft. It is our game number one. Yeah, and that is it. Gonna that is gonna be game number one. We still have game number two. It's back to the drawing board mm -hmm. for triple nine. But before we get to see on what will happen, let's just take a break first, time to relax and talk up. You know, think about okay, ano kaya ang gagawin natin sa game number two, and we will see that after this break.
And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, going on to game number two. But before we talk about game number two, Aki, any, like, what do you think that Triple Nine need to talk about in coming into game number two? Because they realize now, oh my gosh, we're playing up against an actual org who actually has team chemistry, has been together, practicing talaga. What what do you think Triple Nine needs to put in into game number two? I think they need more confidence in playing the next game. No, na hindi sila pwedeng magpa-intimidate dito sa Storm Maker Esports. Because you can clearly see kanina, no, like how they played in the laning space, in laning stage. Ang daming naging issue. Like I'm quite surprised na Mars and Grimstroke. Uh, paano sila natalo doon sa lane ng Nature's Prophet. So, I can really understand na dalawang range hero yung kalaban mo plus meron pa mga trends na ang gugulo, di ba? Pero kasi the job is simple na uh, kailangan mo lang ng magandang positioning and then you can just uh, throw those in, uh, stroke of fate doon sa mga trends para kahit pa paano. And then merong ano eh, merong God's Rebuke itong si Mars na mm -hmm. ang dami niya kung baga ways to kill those trends doon sa bottom lane. Pero again, it's the constant annoyance nga na sabi mo coming in from that Wind Ranger. Parang doon pa lang eh, parang na, na, nabubuli sila ng uh, Storm Maker doon sa galawan mm -hmm. kung baga. Yun ang masasabi natin. Mm -hmm. And same with the top lane, no? Uh, nagulat ako na yung Monkey King and, uh, and Nyx Assassin, they can't even kill that Keeper of the Light na di ba, ang, ang dali-dali lang ang dali lang niyang mapatay kung maganda yung positioning mo. So, mm -hmm. I think more confidence and uh, better communication para sa, ano, sa Team 999. Plus, yung mga decision making nila dito sa game Uh, number one, di ba kailangan nilang ma-workout in for game number two? Like yung kanina, after ng Roshan, pinilit pa nilang lumaban doon sa mm. labas ng Roshan, di ba? Hindi na lang sila nag-def doon sa high ground, which is, yun yung ano, yun na yung next goal ng Storm Maker, eh, mag-high ground na after that Roshan. So, they could have just waited na pumasok yung Storm Maker and then initiate. Ang dami nilang pang team fight, mm -hmm. Arena of Blood, Wukong's Command, and uh, Soulbind, and everything. So, Yeah, that's it. More confidence for Team 999. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely more confidence and also learning like on how to tackle out their laning phases, right? Um, they gave too much uh, respect towards the Wind Ranger. Kaya na, mas lalo sila nahihirapan. They should have decided, okay, kung inaasar asar tayo ng Wind Ranger, let's aim for the Wind Ranger. Let's get the kill towards the Wind Ranger, you know? Let's not Five let that Wind Ranger bully us Radiant as he's doing in the lane. While in the top lane, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the Wendy... Lost that lane, you know, probably get a Wayne laning, uh, Wayne laning support. You know, you need to uh, win your lanes essentially. Like you can get a Jakiro, like constant, alam mo yung constant uh, being a pain in the back uh, on the side of Storm Maker to make sure that your carry is able to farm. Kaya the only lane that was working out for them was the Storm Spirit. Even he, there, he didn't even win the lane. Pero He had that farm that he needed to create that space along the side. It's just that the other two lanes faltered. And like you said, nga, sa team fights, Dying they really need to choose their battles. You know, um, The more you continue jo jumping in, uh, diving in, you end up losing. And we don't really get to see what their game plan was. Talaga. That that nice ultimates working out together with a soul bind. And we natin not see that. Just because... Grabe ang pressure talaga ng na binibigay ng Storm Maker dito sa game na yon. Now, respect bands. No more keeper of the light. Ayaw na no nila. Nahirapan sila doon. Uh, ang ano din talaga eh, annoying din talaga sa lane si Keeper of the Light. Plus, mm -hmm. eh, siya yung uh, best example na hero na sinasabi ko na support na kayang mag clear ng waves nang hindi na mamatay. Yung uh, instant clear ng wave, di ba? With that, illuminate and stuff. Pero, uh, let's see kung anong magiging uh, approach ng Storm Maker for this game number two. Hahayaan pa ba nilang mag-game number three to at makabawi ang 999. But, uh, again, it's a big challenge for 999. I think, uh, isa sa pwede nilang uh, uh, tignan dito sa game na to is um, yung off lane ng Storm Maker, di ba? Si Centaur War Runner. I forgot yung name ng player na to, pero he's basically the playmaker of the team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, he was really 
making them tunnel vision towards him. Talaga pinofocus lang nila ang center. No. Meanwhile, ang NP natin, ay, kaya siya nakapag-rampage dito just because on how well ang center natin, the way he plays the game. As we are gonna see the picks here, the Tiny and the Dragonite. We've seen quite a lot of Dragonites during the past other uh, tournaments. So, more inspiration. Yeah, uh, Dragonite, sorry. Dragonite, you know, more Dragonite. more on that, right? Na, na, pala, palagi natin na siya nakikita with the Fireball. Ang lakas kasi ng, ng shard skill niya. You know, you were talking mm-hmm. about, you know, the lanes on how to push. You know, or the damage over time. The, the Dragonite does give that, uh, that essential that they need. Yeah, I do agree with you. Plus, etong si Snapfire pa na minus R more yung pwede niyang mabigay mm. dito sa game na to. Plus yung, uh, what do you call this? AOE skill, uh, long range AOE skill na ma- pwede ma-provide mm-hmm. ni Snapfire. Pero I think different approach nga yung gagawin ng 999 dito. No? Hindi na sila, pwede kasing offlane DK to eh. So if that happens, mm. so magiba yung playstyle nila for this game. Kasi Dragonite, he's a uh, he's an idol hero. Na again hindi to uh, alis ng lane ng hindi niya nababasag yung tier one tower na ng uh, opposite team, de ba? Uh, mm. Parang ang dami mong pangkilangan at na item bago mo mapagana ng isang Dragonite. Kasi he revolves around the Dragon form, kailangan nilang masulit yon, mm-hmm. kuha ng objective, kuha ng tower, di ba? And uh, I think it works well with the Snapfire, yung kanyang uh, yeah. little shred, di ba? Yeah, yeah, it, it works well. Like you said, the more timers kisses, um, and then you get, you know, the cookie. Like it helps you initiate at the same time because Dragonite has one of the longest stuns with the Dragon Tail. He's a peer on tank as well. I do like the tiny pick though. Like usually tiny, he can also go for the Silver Edge if this is gonna be a carry tiny, which most mm-hmm. probably is. Um, I've seen a lot of um, tiny cores, and I feel like uh, in terms of Storm Maker, the way they draft in particular. Is that they're not afraid to first pick a core hero. Hindi sila takot. Alam nila na we are confident enough to pick a core hero agad. I counter nyo man lang. It does not matter because we know we have what it takes to carry on this hero and a combination as well, which is the tiny cream stroke. This time they're taking out the cream stroke. Sila daw gagamit with that soul bind. It does kind of work a bit in their in their favor, right? More on combinations, combinations na nakita natin, natin dito sa mga laning phases na nila. At saka yung inks well then, no? as, uh, as soon mm. as makuha ng tiny yung Ten dagger niya, uh, instant mm-hmm. ano na yun, eh, instant chain, chain mm-hmm. disabled mm-hmm. na yun, eh, ink swell, avalanche, toss, overwhelming damage coming from this tiny. Pero let's see, Patrider will be banned and Pogna as well. So... Isa yan sa mga pang-counter kasi kay Tiny eh. Diba? Do, mm. do kapag ka nag-damage uh, type yung Tiny, sobrang boset ng, uh, ng uh, pog dyan dito. So, Mm-mm. para hindi na rin nila problemahin kung sino yung mag a doon sa Nether Wards. Yeah, exactly. I think all, another thing to take into this is the life drain that you can give also your HP to your allies. Para siyang ano eh, medic. <laughs> uh, para siyang nurse. Mm-hmm. Tagahil lang siya. And it does work in their favor. You also have to play up against the decrep. You know, you're tiny. He wants to hit. But how can you hit someone who's decrepified? Right? Now, ghost form sila. Ethereal form. Hindi mo sila matatamaan. Yes, you can use your skills. But you're not Bio able to do that damage that you're looking for. So it does make a lot of sense on the reason why they're banning the Pugna. Meanwhile, the Medusa, another good counter up against the Tiny. If you leave the Medusa to just find that farm that she needs, mahihirapan at mahihirapan ka talaga lumaban sa team fight. Now, the bans have been completed here. We're trying to look on what other supports do they need and what other cores is possible um ta uh we've seen a lot of people been using templar assassin too um i think a storm maker has decided to go for the enchantress Encha- or is it uh, I think, uh triple nine oh nine triple nine, nine. yeah 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 Mm-mm. it's nine 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 that will go for the enchantress so uh what i like about enchantress is yung uh, map control niya in the early game and the mid lane if storm ha- uh, if storm maker no if i adjust pa nila si tiny sa mid lane tapos kumuha pa sila ng uh, farming carry 
may hirapan yung carry nila eh, with, uh, with this enchantress kasi ito yung hero na kayang mag-invade ng jungle early on, magkakaroon ka ng kaagaw mm-hmm. dun sa mga neutral creeps, and meron pa siyang heal eh, so hindi siya easy target to kill. No, kapag nakita mo siyang pagala-gala sa lane mo, you will uh, take around uh, two heroes bago mo siya mapatay itong support na to. So, good pick for 999. Pwedeng ma-counter out yung possibility na kukuha yung Storm Maker dito ng kanilang farming carry or farming hero. Mm-mm. Yeah. Um, if I was tiny and if I'm up against a Enchantress, it's gonna be a nightmare just because of the impetus damage nga na the, the further you are, the harder it hits. And Radiant. early on this stage, I think this is what you call yeah. one of the lane winning heroes, but they're gonna counter out no, what the Enchantress does want to do. Get those neutral creeps and they're gonna go for the Mirana. Para mapatay nila agad yung neutral creep na kinuha ng Enchantress. Mm, instant uh, no, ano, not, uh, instant kill doon sa ano sa mga mm-mm. neutral creeps niya dito. Plus uh, ang tinitingnan ko dito ang combo for Storm Maker kasi skill shot hero tong si Mirana eh. Kailangan mo ng isang hero na kailangan sure ta tama yung arrow, di ba? Usual uh, combo mm. niya is DK Mirana, di ba? Conka Mirana, yeah. like what we see on uh, the pro scene. Diba? Boom Esports, ito yung isa sa mga kanilang uh, best picks. Diba? Yun yung pinang pa-partner nila sa Mirana eh. Kasi ang laking factor nung uh, full duration stun nung arrow ni Mirana eh. Pwede ka talaga maka minus one ng mabilis dito sa kanila. Pero kasi yung avalanche, hindi siya, ano, eh, hindi siya pwedeng pang-connect ng, ano, eh, ng arrow eh. So, yeah. we will see pa kung ano uh, kukunin ng Storm Maker dito. Okay, so I think Storm Maker's laning makes uh, it's showing its true colors na here. Um, Tiny could necessarily be mid. Uh, I haven't really seen much of offlane Tiny, and they're gonna go for the Juggernaut core. Uh, what I like about Jug is because, like I said a while ago, it pairs well with the Grimstroke Inkswell and the Blade Fury or the Blade Dance or whatever you call it. You know, when you spin around, you can also use the Inkswell during that time, so you get your plus movement speed. At the same time, matatamaan ka pa rin ng Inkswell. So, Mm-mm. it does have chemistry between these two skills or heroes pag magkasama sila. So, that's something that you have to be a bit careful for if this DK is gonna go off lane. Yes, you're tanky, pero the burst damage coming from the Inkswell, at the same time, the continuous damage coming from the spin of the Juggernaut is gonna be painful and hard to play up against. Mm-hmm. Pwedeng pwede kasi lang i-target lang si Dragon Knight dito eh. Kasi Snapfire, mm-hmm. pwede pa siyang makatakas with that cookie out. no mm-hmm. So, hindi problem sa Storm Maker kung sino yung magiging target nila dito sa, ano eh, sa lane nila eh. But we will see. Kasi ano na to eh. Kumbaga with this Queen of Pain pick, na-lock in na yung role ng Dragon Knight dito. This mm-hmm. will definitely be an offlane Dragon Knight. So, ang hirap naman or medyo awkward kung gagawin pa nila tong carry just to adjust mm-hmm. dun, dun sa lane. No? Pero you could clearly see what Storm Maker can do sa laning stage pa lang. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you can really tell their intentions here. Um, I believe, uh, I think Triple Nine is thinking that Ten what they seconds. need right now is an offlaner. They're thinking that Tiny, Tiny's not going to be offlane. He's probably going to be mid. That's why they're more focused on banning offlaners. You see them banning the Mars. And meanwhile, the side of Storm Maker, they know that they're going to be carry. It will be awkward, nga, diba? like you said, if mag, you know, mag carry DK. Pa sila. So that's the reason why. Bina nila ang razor, which is a good call, you know, a good way of countering the juggernaut and the beastmaster will be there. Lockdowns upon lockdowns works well, by the way. With the soul bind, Saka you can double dalawa, roar. Yeah, yeah. dalawang yeah. roar yung pwede. And also dun sa roar, di ba pwede mo? Uh, pwede may follow up na stun kung baga sobrang haba exactly. ng duration ng disable na pwedeng ibigay ng storm maker but with this ursa pick I'm not really sure if this is a good pick for mm. 999 kasi ursa this is a hero na ang daling makait lalo na kapag wala pa yeah, siyang true. 
Yeah, um, especially pag where you're in the lane, you're up against the boars. The boars are annoying. You get movement speed yeah. slowed, attack speed slowed. Parang may hirap ang katalagan lumapit. And like you said, easily kited. Um, in terms of the draft, I have to give it again to Stormmaker here. They have a way more balanced draft. Although we can't really count triple nine out nine nine nine, it it just really goes to show on how well they're gonna be playing or doing in the laning phase, not like the game number one. They have to really recuperate and figure out na kailangan natin manalo dito sa laning phase. Kasi if we don't win our laning phase, mas lalo tayong mahihirapan na ma-pressure tayo dito up against the opposing team. Yeah, I, I do agree with you. Pero on the other side naman, I think the winning condition here ng Team 999 is they can play a slow face game. They have the Dragon Knight na pwede lang mag-push ng lanes and then Ursa, they can just let him farm. no And then, uh, Queen of Pain, ayan, yung isang hero din na, kumbaga, pwede kang mag-farm, pwede kang lumaban eh. And Queen of Pain, uh, meron meron siya mga certain items na kailangan muna niya before uh, maging battle ready. I think Orchid Malevolence will be a best item mm. nito para sa Queen of Pain. Diba? So they can just let you Ursa. And I think isa sa winning condition nila dito is pwede silang maagang mag -Roshan. And with that, no, uh, hindi matatreten si Ursa na mag just because meron siyang ages ng maaga, makaka-respond pa yung mga teammates niya doon sa mga possible gang. So, we will see kung how maga adjust ang Team 999 for this game. Pero, uh, medyo mahirap lang din talaga i execute itong ganitong passing draft. But, uh, mm -mm. yeah, I think it will work. Yeah, um, that is indeed right. Do you want to make sure yung Ursa ma okay na makahanap ng kilito and get Queen of Pain to create that space that they need once you get that Orchid to But, I'm still a bit of a. Uh, afraid on the threat that the Grimstroke has, right? Yung Soulbind na yan, tas may Phantom's Embrace ka. Like, you don't need an Orchid when you're you're using the Grimstroke kasi may Silence ka na. So, eh, the back. issue here for Triple Nine is that they're, yes, your Queen of Pain is there, but they're a bit too soft. And the worst, if hindi niya makuha yung Enrage niya, pwede siya ma-burst down dito. I do agree. Pero both teams, I think, are positioning oh, no. themselves dito. Nako, ang agang de ward naman ang naganap dito. And might be a bloodbath. So, mukha mag disengage na lang din ang Team mm -hmm. 999 for this one. They will just give kung ano yung, uh, or get kung ano yung pwede nilang makuha for this game. Wala nang uh, contest of bounty runes kasi mm -mm. again ang laki rin ng ano eh ang laki rin ng factor kapag ka bounty rune stage pa lang may namatay na eh Yeah um that is true You don't want to give first blood away immediately no uh, that's what they're trying to do as much as possible but you do get the observer ward no the 100 gold it does help quite a bit especially so support pa na pad pad right 100 gold is already good enough for them here although on towards the laning phase um i don't know parang okay lang naman ating lane uh matchup ng tiny versus the queen of pain there's really not much ahead no ang, ang uh, queen, uh, tiny dito because he is a bit tanky at the same time he gets creeps easily yeah uh, maka clear siya ng uh, creep wave dito but the only thing is yung mm -hmm. magic damage nga ni ano ni queen of pain medyo doon mahina si tiny sa pag absorb ng magic damage mm -hmm. pero nga kayang-kaya naman niya makuha ng last hits on the mm -hmm. lane True. but Okay, bottom lane naman. Are we going to see that Inkswell and Spin combination from these heroes? Oh, Wait. wow! Okay, we're gonna have the first mm -hmm. blood or on towards the top lane. Looks like we, we finally realized, no, we can't play passive against the Storm Maker lineup. The, uh, the, la the last time they played passive, it didn't really work out in their favor, so... Kahit walang katulong-tulong dito ang Ursa natin, talon lang siya ng talon. Game na game. Yeah. Uh, iba ang ano, iba ang approach nung uh, Orsa dito kaysa dun sa Monkey King ng Game 1. Kasi, mm -mm. Uh, I think ngayon, mas medyo nakita natin 
Mas maganda naman din yung lane ng Orsa. This is a good mm-hmm. thing for Team 999 kasi as long as na hindi napapahirapan yung Orsa, di ba? Hindi kasi siya, f- ano eh, hindi farming hero ang Orsa. So, he might get yung kanyang gold in terms of hero kills. And dito sa laning stage pa lang. Kasi, depende na lang kung ibibuild mo pa siya ng Battle Fury and stuff. Pero, basically, the laning stage is very import- important for Orsa. Na nakakakuha siya ng mga kills and stuff. Yeah. Um, kudos to uh, Triple Nine. No? They finally realized na okay, we're adapting to the playstyle of Storm Maker. Let's change our game plan. Um, let's mm-hmm. not give too much respect to support nila, sa players, uh, you know, not to let them continue harassing us. Let's fight back. And the way that the supports Uh-oh. are playing this, you know, talaga parang binabox out nila yung mga players, yung mga supports din ng kalaban nila. They're not letting them, you know, damage their cores or di nila pinapayagan na iharas nila mga offlaner or yung carry. And that's the beauty of it, mm-hmm. no? They're able to bounce back from such a devastating game number one and realizing ano ba kailangan natin dito to to show na we can play up against you guys kaya pa namin to yeah i have a, a new question here enchanters can hmm. get yung board ni beastmaster right yep pwede niyang ma exactly. yeah Mm-mm. so oh? it's a good thing then pero grabe naman yung damage dito oh my gosh impetus yeah, the, um... okay yeah, it looks like he's hit. diving into this. It's Chantress with the Impetus. <laughs> he does get it, but is it worth it in the end? You do give a kill I think towards yes. the offlaner here. Mm-hmm. I think it's still okay na ganun yung ginagawa niya. Kasi Beastmaster is also giving mm-hmm. time para doon sa Enchantress. And while the Ursa is just... Uh, when he went back to the lane, farm, farm, farm mm-hmm. lang siya ulit. While si Beastmaster... Pinapansin niya ng pinapansin niya Enchantress. And I think that's his one of uh, the gold dito sa oh main top. Talaga magpapabait out lang siya. Pero they uh-huh. got the kill on the Beastmaster. But Ursa will be the trade-off dito sa top lane. Yeah. There, there's so many fights happening in every single lane. Talaga, pure on aggression playstyle. And this is what I like it, you know. Uh, back in the mm-hmm. days, this is what Filipino Dora was all about. Bakbakan sa bakbakan. <laughs> Kills for days. You know, it brings you back to the good old days when you would see countless team fights after team fights. Anong farm, 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 mama yan ayan, as we want to get those kills. And that's what we're seeing here. The El Clasico continue finding those fights. And I believe, you know, uh-huh. that's what they're doing. And they're playing it tremendously well. Yung, yung ano natin, Beastmaster oh. dito. Kakabalik ni Plus Elite. Looks like they want to get that kill towards him. He's Jukin and Jive. He's tamang tago-tago lang. The tiny. Actually, oh. deep is to the top lane. Sabi niya, I have to help my uh, offlaner here. But the Orsa, will he be able to run away? You know, nga nila dito. Ang ating Beastmaster with the axes. Goodbye, uh, good night. Napatipi ng maaga ang tropang tiny nyo. Uh, I think okay lang din yon, kasi kahit level 4 pa siya, he still got that kill. And then it's already 4, four minutes and 45 seconds. Eh. Pwede siyang dumiretso papunta dun sa may rune, di ba? At as long as nakakakuha ng kills yung mid lane na nagro-rotate, I think it's still okay na ginagawa nila yung mga ganun. Kahit sabihin natin ng aga, ah, level 4 pa lang to. Okay, and uh, that was a big kill for Stormbreaker. They got that Orsa out of it. Pero bottom lane naman, I think it's the same. Parang, uh, though hindi pa natin ako nakita yung sinasabi natin na, no, na possible na combo ng Juggernaut and oh. Grimstroke. Yeah, um, we have never, we haven't seen that yet. So, siguro na, nahihirapan sila to go for your a fight here because you know DK he has two bracers <laughs> he's very uh, tanky uh, you're not gonna be able to burst him down easily but we're gonna look for the easier kill here which is uh, the green choke we have the scatter blast trying to make it work out at the combination as Weiwei will fall down as the juggernaut does not want to man fight against that DK and mukhang mas okay na yung lane na to oh okay hinabol na yung ano, healing ward ni Jagger. <laughs> He's now sitting at level 5 while level 4 pa lang itong si Jagger na. Mm-hmm. So goes to show na mas maganda yung lane ng uh, Dragon Knight for now. Pero Enchantress, though the arrow misses, he will still get that kill onto that Enchantress. Mm-hmm. And two kills going in the way for the Sine. And good thing yun exactly. para sa Stormmaker. 
Yeah, as much as possible. You really don't want that tiny to find as much farm. But in the bottom, they're gonna go for the kill immediately towards a juggernaut. The jump is there with the burst. Sabi ni Queen of Pain, kala mo ikaw lang pati magrotate. Pati siya, nagrotate na rin. And the good timing na din yan because meron na siyang level 60 to while Tiny is still farming on the lane. Ito yung pwede natin ma-expect sa Queen of Pain talaga eh. Once he hit level 6, rotate na yan ng rotate sa mga side lanes sila. And yeah, compared to game number 1, itong game number 2 is going better for Team 999. Hindi siya ganun ka one-sided. Uh oh, exactly, and that's what we want to see. Meanwhile, you can see the Queen of Pain. Hindi niya tatantanan yung ano, yung Juggernaut. You really want to fight him? Do they have the stun? Do they have enough power to get that last hit? Looks like they do his trap towards the corner. All me healing words come, but it's not gonna be enough for him to survive that one. Tiny though, wait, like keep in tiny dito. Hindi natin makikita yung laban. Uh oh, they're in trouble. Wait, wait, almost falls down. Fifteen HP in a dream, but. They get the Juggernaut kill and they get the tower. Sulit na sulit dito ang yung pag rotate ng Queen of Pain natin, no? He didn't even leave the lane. Umikot lang siya. Three kills ang nahanap and a tower to boot. Yeah, top lane. Ursa, naman going for Battle Fury, paren. So classic Ursa build. Ah, yun ngay na sabi ko kanina. They can just play slower. For this one, di ba mayroon naman silang mayroon naman silang Dragon Knight na kumbaga. Pwede kasi siyang insurance hero eh. Malakas yung magiging tower death nila. High ground or just classic towers. Kayang-kaya nilang mag-defend. Yeah, exactly. Kayang-kaya nila. And oh my gosh, eto na. Wrecking Havoc ang ating Tiny. But he's gonna try and run away. Wei Wei and Co is there. They're gonna try and chase him as much as possible. Is this a really good play to do? The the jump is there, but not enough to find that good attempt though on trying to find that one. Ah, natatawot sila magcommit. Because if the Queen of Pain jumps into that, apat na heroes nandoon. Ah ah, so wala rin silang vision yata dito sa high ground. So, medyo greedy yon kung talagang hahabulin pa nila and. Storm Maker, they have a nice set of stacks here sa kanilang jungle area, which hindi nakita yon ng 999. May kita sana mm -hmm. kung nag-jump siya dito, but at what cost? Pwede rin siyang mamatay doon eh. We'll see. Last on one key gold for Grabe. Team 999, Queen of Pain. Mag-early BKB siya. Going for the early BKB? Oh, I think he understands the threat here because sa Grim Stroke, eh, diba? Pag na silence ka na, wala ka na magagawa. You can instantly get knocked down uh -huh. immediately. So, it uh, does uh -huh. make sense here. But, like you were talking about that stack, you can see, nag-excel ang farm ng Beastmaster natin. Mm -hmm. Currently, top That's one okay. net worth. Tamang tapon lang ng access. And he's able uh -huh. to get a lot of money out of that stack. And kudos to, you know, to Storm Maker. They're not feeling... Like, uh oh, dami lang kina nahanap na pipik of tayo. They still have a strategy coming into this on what they have to do to win this one. Hindi sila kung baga overconfident na nakuha tayo ng kills. Medyo may lead na tayo. Let's just fight and fight and fight. But ang worry ko dito, JT, is I think BKB is not the best item for Queen of Pain. Kung baga na first item niya kasi may roar yung Storm Maker eh. Diba? It's a BKB piercing skill. I think much better kung mag-link and spear na lang yata siya. Muna. But who knows? Ang dami rin kasi talaga ang control ng Storm Maker eh. Pero I believe na just one roar ang katapat lang na itong game. Uh-oh. Pero the toss is there. Dragon Knight! He can tank up all the damage coming in from Storm Maker and killing spree na nga for this Mirana. They can group up and push this mid lane tower well on the top lane. It's the Beastmaster na may sariling buhay at may sariling dinatrabaho on the top lane. Yeah, oh my god, they're gonna use the toss. There you have it, the combination with oh. that the Phantom's Embrace. Like yes. we talk, like I talked about, Nana. Kaya siya nag gusto niya mag BKB. Kasi once you get that combination, wala na siyang takas. Uh, very easily uh -oh. to get bursted down. Payatot ang ating Queen of Pain dito. Wala pa siyang masyadong farm. Uh -oh. Kaya yun yung inahanap niya, eh. that BKB to tank it up. <laughs> I think I I don't know. Ah, he's a bit in the 
Ay, hindi diyan ko yung queen of queen ko ba? Gusto niya mag-BKB. Pero, um, wala siyang magagawa. Yun talaga eh. The only thing that he can yeah. do is to find the better positioning. Hindi siya yung pwedeng mag-initiate ng fight. And that's the Dragon Knight's mm-hmm. job na tumalon. Mm-hmm. Diba? Kung baga, ang queen of pain dito, ang pwede niyang gawin sa clash is pang clean up na lang muna eh. Kasi, yeah. a daming skills and meron pang roar. So, pwede siya mag-build ng ibang, ano eh, ng ibang item sana na additional um, additional damage lang din. Kung baga, or Lincoln Spear. Kasi ang papatay lang talaga sa kanya dito is the roar. No? Kung baga, uh, hayaan niya munang ibigay ng Storm Maker yung skills nila sa ibang hero. Wag lang sa kanya. And after that, yeah. pwede na siyang uh, makalaban ng maayos. Pero tignan natin, Tiny. Uh-oh. Yeah, Tiny's gonna go stops. in for the combination. <laughs> yeah, um, it's going out of proportion na dito for the side of Triple Nine. No, we had a very good laning stage, laning phase. But now that uh, Tiny and Ko are they're being very proactive here, no? Trying to cause people out, trying to find those first damage, trying to get those skills and towards the support. Slowly but surely, na hanap nila ang farm dito for that dagger na gusto ng Tiny. Once he gets his dagger, nako, meron dito may madidilit na lang bigla. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's what they're afraid about. And currently, they're smoked up, hoping to find that Ursa kill. Na, naka, okay. ano pa sila, Moon Knight Shadow. Did they have any sentries up and running? Uh oh, there's no sentries here. We find the Ursa. The arrow will be there. Will the combo hit? Yeah. Oh no, it misses, but it doesn't matter. The damage. Wow, it's enough to maybe get that kill. He's still surviving for quite a bit. The last hit, though, dominating on towards the Marina Leap. Habang pede pa. But the Queen of Pain with that ultimate and not to find those kills. Meanwhile, on the other side of things, they're gonna find a kill towards the enchanters as well. Two for two trade, Tito. But for Storm Maker, they just lost their two supports. But for 999, they lost their Ursa. So it's still in favor of Storm Maker, yung uh, recent clash na yun. But we will see. Okay, Thunderstoy. Dragonite, mukhang gusto niyang i-stun, <laughs> nag-appear pa. That's cute, that's cute. Yeah, I mean, it just goes to show that they're both having fun, right? Like, at the end of the day, you know, Dora is a fun game, that's why you love the game. Uh, you just have to say that, ang galing ng kalaban ko, and I, I pay respects to that. As we can see, uh, the tiny looks like he wants to get the kill towards Weiwei and Weiwei will fall down. Grabe, nakailang pick off na sila sa river na to. Same area. Uh, Multiple times natin sila kakapatay ah. Kanina pa. Kasi nade-deward din agad ng, ano, eh, ng Storm Maker yung mga nilalagay na vision ng 999. Eh. That's uh, the good thing about them. And tingnan natin mm-hmm. three man smoke. Mukhang gusto na nilang i-testing yung kanilang uh, draft dito on the mid lane but on the top lane Mukhang alam nila na kulang eh. Wala yung Queen of Pain dito. We can go dito sa triangle or we can push yung uh, tier 1 top lane. Ay, tier 1 mid lane. Dito. Okay. Enchantress! Uh-oh. Oh, no, Enchantress, is she gonna be okay? Oh, she's gonna Tapos be okay. The, the ty- yeah, the Mirana tried to use the arrow. Pero tinos ba kasi ni Absolute. Kaya hindi tumama yung arrow. Like you said, it's a bit hard no, to combo with the Tiny. Para hindi nagsisink nagsisink yung mga skills niya eh. Mm-mm. Pwede pang uh, you, you right. can save pa yung mga kalaban mo or what Mm-mm. pero the job is done for Storm Maker. They took out the uh, mid lane tier 1 tower and I think their next objective might be their bottom Ayan lane. Yeah, we find the Blink Dagger finally taken by the Dragonite. Like you said, ang initiator natin dito is the Dragonite, not the Queen of Pain. So we need that DK to get that Blink Dagger and they finally have it online. Maybe this is where we get to see where DK can shine, but he's gonna jump on oh, no? him. He's not afraid of him. Okay, I'm gonna jump under the tower. Let me go towards the Beastmaster, but Beastmaster is still okay. And then damage towards the DK. He's not as tanky as I thought. The Lower Seekow, the Roar, the roar is there. And he's going to die here. Si Weiwei with the dragon over there, burning him down to his grave. And the toss by Ali, you could be getting that kill maybe towards this Enchantress. He's not gonna be able to run away as the Axis follows him and chops him to his death. Mm-hmm. Okay, Queen of Pain. Uh, Queen of Pain. 
just blinks out. Ah, uh, kaya ko na sabi JT earlier na parang hindi ko masadong gusto yung BKB for Queen of Pain. Kasi I saw before, I'm not really sure kung anong tournament yon, but Japo was using mm-hmm. Queen of Pain and there's also a Peacemaster sa kalaban, no? And mm-hmm. that game, natalo yung Boom Esports dun, eh. And nakita ko yung build ng Queen of Pain ni Japo. Eh. Hindi siya nag-build Uh-oh. ng BKB. And when, oh, okay, okay. Hold that thought. Yep, Speaking uh, of Queen of Pain, he's gonna go down. He's gone. <laughs> yeah, he, he's gonna be dead. I think it's the first time we're gonna see more timers kisses finally mm-hmm. being used. Pero the Mirana, he doesn't care. He's like, asan ka, Enchantress? Ikaw ang aking inahanap as Enchantress. Yeah. Will fall down. Okay, DK gonna continue nine. dropping in. Looks like on the sidelines though, we do have the Ursa here. Getting controlled, he is gonna use the Invade. Galit na galit siya. Gusto na niya manakit. Pero may mananakit ba siya dito? Yes! He will find a double kill. This is a, actually, I guess, kind of a win in the side of Triple Nine. Because their Ursa is finally online. Nakakakuha na siya ng kills. Small wins, kumbaga. Uh-oh. And on the other side of the map naman, Juggernaut is still fighting. So, medyo kulang yung manpower mm-hmm. ng Stormmaker. Kaya, kaya rin sila siguro naku, uh, nakuhaan ng kills Uh-oh. on that. Pero man, oh, medyo yeah, he's gonna die. kulang sa map awareness yung Juggernaut dito. Ay, ay, ay. Medyo careless siya doon sa pagpupush ng bottom lane. I, I, I mean, as soon as you don't see heroes on the map, you gotta be aware that they might be coming towards you. I, I, I do really like their quick response here. Like, they saw the DK on mid, kaya sabi ng Jug, okay, DK is mid farming, kaya pa siguro to. No, there's not gonna be an issue here, we're gonna be fine. Uh oh, DK though. Um, I'm not oh, sure what the arrow is right for in the that. face. <laughs> Ang ganda na nung yeah. kinila sa bottom lane, eh, diba? Nakuha nyo na yung Jugger natin, nagpabawi ka pa. And I think it's also their problem. <laughs> Don sa game number one. Kung baga, nakakuha kayo ng kills. Pero after that, medyo careless yung mga decision making nila na nakakukuhaan pa rin sila ng kills or namamatay pa rin sila after nung mga kills. Mm-mm. Nakukuha nila. Parang uh... even lang yung nangyayari eh. Nagdadala ng emotion. Yun ata yung tawag dyan. Mm-hmm. Uh, when the emotions are too heightened, no? you're gonna sometimes uh, lose your awareness on what you need to do, on what you have to play. And uh, that is what's up. Uh, kaya sila nahihirapan. Um, I think someone in chat's asking, anong price pool natin dito? It's 5,000 pesos to the winner of this tournament okay. as way, way. Oh! Oh, oh, na na Soulbind dito. Meron pang Roar available ah, and that's what we are talking about. Double oh, Roar yeah. coming from this Beastmaster and Wei Wei trying to survive on this one. Pero yung Big Black Dragon ni Secret dito will finish him off. There's a toss onto this Enchantress. Might be slow, he might live dito, pero just for a while. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, um, this is so hard to see, you know? Like, when you think you have the ages, you think you're gonna be okay, no, walang problema, okay ka lang, but um, it seems like they're not giving up, they're just showing them, okay, get the ages, kaya pa rin namin to. One misplay is not enough for them to, to lose the game. Dyer's top tower is under attack. I do agree with you, but uh, hindi ata titigil yung Storm Maker dito to fight. There's a blink in. Grabe naman yung, uh, yung avalanche ng dalawang hero yung tinamaan. Silence on the Queen of Pain. Walang magagawa si Huawei dito. You'll definitely fall down. Pero yung, yung cookie dito, masustan naman itong si Secret. Pero yung Mirana, grabe naman. Very aggressive dito. He's now chasing down this Enchantress. But what can they do? DYI is blinking in and yung Ursa dito sa may likod. Lagi nilang nakakait lang yung Ursa, JT. <laughs> okay, I'm like wondering what you're watching. <laughs> Wait, are you watching ano? Oh, sorry, I was watching a different stream. Okay, okay, oh, sorry, okay. my bad, was, my bad. I was a bit lost. I'm like, wait a minute. I don't wait, see I that. have to refresh because I was watching the delayed stream. Ah, okay, okay. No worries, Aki. I, I, I was a bit confused on what was happening. <laughs> okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. Alright. No worries, it's okay. So, you're watching, we're on a 20 minute mark, right? 
Yes, we're at the 21 okay. minute mark. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, we're good? We're good. <laughs> we're good, we're good. Um, we're back, we're back. So okay. We're back. We're back. That's how I like it. Storm Maker knocking on the front door of Triple Nine. Ito na nga. This is what they're good at, though. Putting that tower so damage fast. pressure. Gonna go oh, jump no. on towards a deep sucker. Not pero. Shayi me ages. He doesn't ages. necessarily want to. Uh -oh. Yeah, you don't want to jump on someone who has the ages, and they get the damage that they needed. This is what's scary about the draft. And also, the helm of the Overlord, ba? The, 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 the mm -hmm. trust, the ancient creeps are doing the job. Sila na yun push on behalf of Storm Maker. So. Ang hirap pa yeah. mag-initiate for Team 999. Uh, they're gonna jump out towards us. There is a BKB already towards the Ursa, but like you said, the BKB is not, what gonna, not gonna work as much as possible just because they have the Primal Roar. Aegis Immortality will fall down. The Omni Slash will be there. Will the arrow actually hit the Ursa? Yes, ay, it ay, will! Yeah. Ursa, girly, knocked off. He can't run away, but they're gonna continue. Going in for the fight. Tiny, Tiny? is rather low. Will he fall down? Yes, he will. The Ursa being controlled, though, by the Juggernaut. Swish, swish, swish is what he's looking for. As when the damage has been done, they are losing two plays already. The arrow setup, oh, does not time it perfectly, but it doesn't Grabe matter. The juggernaut, gutom na gutom siya dito with the ace combination, like we talked about. He's gonna get the triple. Could it be an ultra if he jumps into more of this, but doesn't decide to do that? Focus on yeah. the objectives. Let us get that mega creep that we're looking for. That's what we are talking about. Yung mga decision making. Mm -hmm. Kung baga, uh, get that and uh, you're in desperation not to get a kill, but you're just giving away kills. Eh. Uh, the thing mm -hmm. dito, pa naman, though, marami pang bagay na kailangan ni catch up ang team 999. Pero the thing is, meron pa silang tier 2 towers sa mid lane. Meron pa silang tier 1 tower on the bottom lane. So, they can't die carelessly. Yung katulad ng ganun na nag-blink in si Dragonite without even a BKB. They could have just give that uh, set of fracks sa Storm Maker. Hindi na nila afford mamatay na mamatay. Parang kumbaga nag-giveaway na lang sila eh. Tinatanggap na lang nila yung pagkatalo nila eh. Parang I think that's not a, a good decision for Team 99. Kailangan nila dito mag-group up ulit. Okay. Exactly, uh, it looks like they want to try and get a kill, but we talked about it, no? The reason why you don't like to see the BKB is because the Primal Roar is enough to get the control and that is what's happening. Mukhang mamamatay ulit sila dito with a perfect, I guess, the Hawk giving that vision that we wanted to initiate. They're looking yeah. for an easy kill sana dito sa Juggernaut, pero hindi nila nakuha yon. Kau baga yung yung roar kasi dito was originally intended for the Queen of Pain. Nato na sila kalabang na kung na kai kanina na lang ibigay yung roar. Hindi na sila ganon katrend na dito na baka makabawi pa yung Team 999. But again, it's three man down for Team 999. Might be another set of rocks na makuha ng Storm Maker dito. It's a two lane push, and then they can just go straight up to uh -oh. the ancient base. BKB. Yeah, uh, uh, ang tiny natin talaga dito, no? Toss lang siya na toss. Meanwhile, the Juggernaut, tamang backline, backline lang looking Wala for the skills. BKB. Meanwhile, Ursa, Wala, Wala na siyang tropa. Siya ay lang maiiwan dito at mamamatay. The buyback will be there. Uh -huh. Coming from the Queen of Pain, they're able to get the kill towards the Juggernaut. Now aiming for the tiny, but do they have the detection here? The question is, or the oh, answer is wala. no. They do not have the wala. detection. Yeah. So, well, yun ang sabi din natin, no? ang dali mo lang din talagang makait ang Ursa. Ito. Mm -hmm. with, with, the, with the hero, heroes ng Storm Maker na pwede na mag-in and out. Pwede lang lang takbohan ng Ursa. Well, it's not dito. over Ay, yet. Uh, mukhang mararar dito ang pinapain natin. Even with the BKB, like he said, that's why you really don't like the BKB. Kasi nag-rar siya, kala niyo mapapatay yung Beastmaster. But in the end of the day, the tiny free hitting lang siya doon. Wala siyang pake, mag BKB ka man lang. It's still not gonna be enough for you to survive that one. Although DK, yes, finding those kills. But at the end of the day, what matters the most is the damage has been done. No, it's the Storm Maker dito. So, let's see, 32 22. Let's see, 32 22. Let's see, 32 22. Let's see, 32 22. Maker, 40 seconds for the Queen of Pain though. Kaya pa naman. Kaya pang ma-hold ito ng uh, 999. Wraith mm -hmm. back. Uh, Why Wraith back na pala yung Snapfire? So this is a nice thing. I just think like, um, 
like you said, you really have to be careful on choosing their fights. I think yun yung problema rin on game number one, right? Like we talked about is the battles that they choose to fight. They, they have to not become careless. They have to play calculated, you know, proper communication. Kung ano ba gusto nilang gawin and what objective will they get when they do those type of plays. Yeah. I do agree with you. But again, uh, pabuhay naman na yung Queen of Pain. Let's see what they are going to do with this. No, seven seconds for possible na next Roshan. So they may kita ng early spawn pa ba mm -hmm. or oh, early spawn ng Roshan? Seven seconds na lang. So this might be the next big thing for the both teams. Nine 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 is on a smoke. Wala yung mirana dito. They need to be careful. Yeah, I thought they were gonna go towards where the Juggernaut Radiant is, but it doesn't standing. seem like it. Um, they're smoking in hopes na may mahanap sila. But guess what? Alam na ng alam na nila na may Roshan. Stormmaker knows. Okay, Roshan is up. That's Aghanim's and also the shard. Um, personally, sino ba magandang ibigay yung shard sa side ng ano Stormmaker? Stormmaker. Shard, shard, shard. I think pala din na bigay sa Grimstroke dito. Or uh, let's see kung sino ang kuha. Na kanina, na kanina. I wanna see... It's with the uh, Beastmaster. Uh, Beastmaster, Beastmaster kumuha. Or Jug, ata. Na kay Jug yata, na kay Jug. Okay, and dami or kasi yun. Yun. I'm dito. not really sure. Maybe, maybe <laughs> <din ako sure. laughs> uh -oh. But um, wala kasi wala wala kasi ako sa Ah, you weren't able to join. I see. It makes a lot of sense here. But uh, before that, without further ado, they're able to find that kill towards the uh the Grim Shook. Pero napa BKB ang guyang DK nyo. That's uh mm -hmm. 60 seconds down on that BKB. Yeah, but the team 99, they're still holding up dito sa game na to, kahit na naka-ages na yung Storm Maker dito. At yung, mm -hmm. yung fact na nabawasan sila ng isa, medyo mas slow down yung pwedeng, uh, yung aggression pa na pwedeng gawin mm -hmm. ng Storm Maker, yung pressure na, kumbaga, na magpupush na sila on the bottom lane. Pero Juggernaut uh, went back to farming muna. Same as the tiny. Mukhang hintay na lang yata nila muna ma mag-respond uh, yung Grimstroke. Yeah, um, a fantastic uh, hawk there. They're able to spot out kung nasan mm -hmm. ang players ng 999. Ang vision nila dito. Uh Oo, -oh, yung ops din nila. Yeah. Dito sa may ano, bottom lane. And it does look Sino like they want to make a play here, ah. Yeah, yeah, a storm maker. Na rin yung feel like he, they see uh, an opportunity. Ito na nga. The Juggernaut did go for the blink dagger, so he can jump in. Naka inks wala nga siya dito. And the enchantress, not like oh, this, really? not again. The gem of Blue Sight Holder, ang mamamata in the DK. He actually jumped. Na wala kasi ang kasama. Currently being hold down. DKB, yes, but not enough and for you to survive roar. this one, buddy. Error din kasi. Yeah, kahit pa naka BKB siya don, he was just a stun with that roar. So again, sobrang gamit na gamit yung roar dito sa ano, sa game to. That's why I told you na parang hindi ganon ka ideal na mag-BKB kasi uh, it's still the same thing eh. Para ka lang din nagsayang ng um, Q gold eh, if you just went mm -hmm. for something like Lincoln Spear or kahit pampakunat lang siguro just ma-survive mo lang yung roar eh. You're still you're good. Exactly you're good and roar. oh no, the jumps are there again. This jumps in immediately gets a kill towards our snapfire. Mahihirap pa sila dito mag-defend. It's currently the last lane of Rax. Kulang pa sila ng hero. 20 seconds remaining bago mabuhay ang ating DK. They're gonna continue jumping on. They jump towards the Enchantress. Ang Enchantress mo ang mamamatay ulit na naman siya dito. Meet on the back end of things. The double roar is there again. They're currently hold. The Omni Stash is making the damage. Mamamatay ang Philippine without any more buyback. Urusar is trying to get as much as possible the kills that he needs to withstand this push. The pressure from Storm Maker. Fuzzy Wuzzy Bear is not here to make fun. He is here to save his face, to save his throne. Tiny finally dying are we able to stop 
this push from Stormmaker and it seems so. Actually, it I seems don't so. think so. I don't think so. They still oh. have Aegis available. Pero tignan natin, uh, Dragonite blinking in. May uh, BKB pa naman siyang available dito. Pero enchantress, tignan natin. There's the yeah. Aegis. I think pinapaubos lang nila dito yung Aegis para mag... Uh, Heal up yung Juggernaut, but no need! No need na daw! He can still fight with that low HP. This Juggernaut doing all the damage, but Ursa is hiding under oh, the Oh, Ursa is just gonna jump? What's the Grimstroke? <laughs> Yeah, he gets it killed, but guess what, Aki? Malapit na magka-roar ulit dito. They're gonna go for the arrow stun. Look, I think he's gonna go in for the roar, maybe, towards uh, the Ursa. And Ursa's being cutted down, but he does have that enrich. Galit na galit ang ating teddy bear. He wants to make sure that he's able to defend this drone, this tower, but it's still not enough when the Juggernaut is already completed his farming phase. It's time for the bakbakan as much as possible. Mm. And Roar, I think it will be up soon again. Juggernaut Dito, okay. He wants TK. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Get a kill. Yes, he will get that kill for man down for Team 999. And Omni Slash. Oh, that's just a swift slash. The Aegis will leap up off Dito. And Mukang Tinatapos na ng Storm Maker ang game natin. That's a GG. I am from 999. Uh, um, it's the same thing. Parang para sa akin 999. Sobrang kailangan talaga nilang i-work out yung decision making nila. But plus yung itemization. Parang uh, ako I, I don't wanna question yung kanilang mga decision dito in terms of items. Just for me personally, I I, I don't see the sense of buying BKB early on. Kasi may yeah. error eh. Kahit sabihin natin na ang dami mong ang daming ang daming pang kite or pang control kay Queen of Pain diba hindi naman siya yung initiator eh so parang exactly. kailangan nilang dito ng status resistance kailangan nilang ma-survive yung roar and then after nun, good to go na sila I think dun din sila medyo ano eh medyo nag-slow down eh kasi kahit nakabikay na si Queen of Pain hindi pa rin natin uh, ganun naramdaman yung presence niya in terms of team fight but yeah still close uh, to 999 they still did their best mm -hmm. I think Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, they did their okay. best. Sadly, they are gonna fall down. Uh, 999. Kudos to you guys for making it until the semifinals. Stormmaker taking a 2 0, which means they're gonna be going to the grand finals. Meanwhile, as they wait for their mm -hmm. opponents on today's uh, event, Horizon Gaming versus Burger Friends. I don't know. Do you say it's Burger Burger Friends? <laughs> burger. burger Friends. They have this meme here. You know, na parang mm. Burger, Burger, Burger Kasakin. Like that. Oh, uh, that, that. You know that meme. Because <laughs> it's like, like hard. I think uh, I'm not really sure mm -hmm. if it came from Alodia or what. Because we have this mm -hmm. ha heart signal. Yeah. And then, uh -oh. meron, meron, yung iba parang ganto sila mag heart. So that's what they call <laughs> burger. It's not heart, it's burger. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cute. I actually did that's not know. Thank you for. For putting me into the the fray on the memes here, um, but yeah, we can't wait to see Burger and pagmamahal ng mga Burger friends or Horizon Gaming who will be on top, who will continue on to face up against Storm Maker. We will see that after this break. I'll see you guys there. Yeah.